Hey, everybody. Hello. That was a little lackluster, did Well, hello, There folks. we go. There it is. <laughs> We're here. We are here. It is a lovely Friday. Beautiful. And it's about to get pretty hairy. Yeah, this is going to be hairy. It's going to get real hairy today. Um, it's also probably a little warm for these already. I put one on this morning because he put finished one. one. I put one on. I had one furry leg. And uh, it was toasty. <laughs> <laughs> I could see how if you lived somewhere in the Arctic where you could find this comfortable. Yeah. yeah it might it might be all right. In the yeah. Arctic. In the Arctic. <laughs> but only in the Arctic. So, well, I hope everybody is having a super lovely day. I know that we're all switched up here. Because once we get these done, I was like, well, somebody's going to have to put them on. And then it's going to be hard to see them behind the table. So we figured we'd do it like this. Plus, Denny's got the sewing machine behind me over here. Because uh, it was too crowded back there, apparently. I need room to move. Yeah, you needed some space. We didn't have space. Okay, so we finished one leg yesterday. So yes. you could make sure that you knew what you were doing today. Yes, Because this is a hairy situation. It's a, No, this is really hairy. <laughs> Did, this is still experimental, you guys. <laughs> oh, man, I don't think I got my spearmint card out again. But Justin will throw it at me over here. So, ha ah, good catch. We're spearminting. Oh, that was behind my cup. <laughs> Anyways, a little spearmint over here. Yeah. There it is. Alrighty, so we have, we've got one leg. Now, Denny, you did say after we finished last Wednesday that you had to finagle the zippers still yet. Yes. So what did we do? Just so everybody... Okay, I had the zipper pull on the on the wrong side of the leg. The zipper pull wants wants to be on... You want to you wanna see up here? Yeah. Okay. Pull needs to be on, on this side that wraps around your leg. Okay. So I had to redo the zipper. So the bottom of the zipper needs to be at the top of the leg. Yes. So bottom of the zipper at the top of the leg, because otherwise I put them on this morning and I was like, yeah, you're right. If I had to start at the bottom and come up, that would be awkward. So you start at the top and you go down. Yes. Yeah. And then you want the pull on the inside. Yes. Just, just like this. Just like this. All right, so that's how the zipper ended up after he refixed it. Yeah, and we went through all that when we did our, our first shot. We did. I do feel like that and first shotgun chat video was pretty good. I think yeah. I feel like we got the zipper part pretty yeah, well. I don't think I malfunctioned it. <laughs> <laughs> but we're back on track again. That's so, right. Yeah. So this is, so after we finished on Wednesday, you had the zippers installed and then really all it was, like we already, Denny had already tooled up his yokes because those are pretty straightforward. You cut out the pattern, mm -hmm. you tool it however you want. Um, you're going to have a little billet end here for your buckle. And then on the other side, you're going to, oh, I'm sorry, buckle end. And then you have the billet end yeah. over here. Stop it. This guy really yeah, likes I, to. You know, I, I put these yokes on and stitched halfway on them before I, before we're putting the, the hair on, okay. simply because it'll be easier to get that part done now. Yeah, yeah. So, if you want, if, you, if you're if you making chaps, chaps for the first time, and you're struggling, or, or you would like to see how the yokes go on or are assembled, you can go back to our original shotgun chap video and kind of get the basics of doing this. So, today we're really just focusing on the hairy part. Yeah. So, Yeah. And it is hairy. It is hairy. I know. Diddy told me after after he got done cutting the panels. Because what what did your panels end up being? The the size. Uh, I guess we have one here. I forget. So they started out as a two by four, and I guess depending on the person that you're making yeah. the woolies for yeah. is going to be what you end up cutting. Yeah, this piece is about eighteen inches wide, sixteen or eighteen inches mm -hmm. wide, and then the length is whatever length it is from the. Basically, from the yoke down to the bottom of the shaft. Right. In this case, it was around 30 inches, 28 to 30 inches. Okay. Thanks, Justin. All righty. But anyway, let's get go. this show on the road. Yeah, we only got an hour, so yeah. enough splaining. Enough, we explained enough. Yeah. I see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is make sure I got the hair facing the right direction. Because you want it, you want the, the hair to go, the grain of the hair wants to go towards the bottom of the shaft. You don't want your hair going up? Well, no, because it'll go like this. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Okay, now I got that. So now I'm going to turn it over. Uh, Crystal, these panels are Tibetan wool. So Tibetan sheep, Tibetan sheep panels. Um, Denny talked about on Wednesday that originally these were made with Angora sheep. But this is, these are the, this is what we had. So I said, Denny, this yeah. is what you're going to use. Oh, and people make lots of them right nowadays out yeah. of this. Okay, I've got a mark here that uh, is... How do, I, how do I explain this? <laughs> okay, you want the inside of the hair to go approximately right here on your thigh. <laughs> because if it goes further, it'll interfere with your riding capabilities. Okay. You won't, you won't be able to contact the saddle very well. So, so it doesn't go all the way around to the inside of your leg. It just stops there. So this, this, is, this is that point here that I've got marked on these lines. So I'm going to bring this here, but I'm also going to make sure I can cover that whole thing. I can, that right there. Denny did a lot of thinking <laughs> yeah. about how to get this hair on these legs. I did, and then it all turned out I didn't need to think much at all. I, <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking completely wrong. It was overthinking. Uh, yeah. Okay, what you want to make sure is the top of this this hair goes underneath this yoke. So you have See? to make sure it's tall yeah. enough. You gotta make sure you yeah. And you also have to make sure you've got enough to cover the bottom of this leg. Okay. And I'm pretty sure I'm about right there. Now I'm just gonna take some packing tape. Tape this down. Michael. This packing tape will never be seen again, so you don't have to do a real neat job, thankfully. Of course, Tom, as all chaps are. What? what? Um, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Rear endless. <laughs> Rear endless, yes. But we did have some woolly left over, so I suppose if we wanted to make a little skirt to go with, we could cover that up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or just make sure you put your pants on before you put your chaps on. <laughs> it's hard to get them on afterwards. <laughs> Especially with this woolly stuff. Uh, uh. Alright, I've got this taped. Now I'm going to go to the machine. And a stitch right along here and this stitch line doesn't have to be pretty because we're going to fold this back over and you will never mm -hmm. see this stitch line yep. and then but he just made sure he kind of just smushed all that hair yeah all the hair is underneath yeah. as much as i could get it but on like you're not going to see it it's the inside of the leg yeah. so okay i'm gonna come over here well then he okay. oh wait i'm probably do you want to sit are you sitting uh i don't think so i think i'll be better off I want to go back here. Go on with it. I need to test it. By the way, now we have another new. This is a racing machine now. Oh, is it? Well, I, I <laughs> they put a new motor he on did, it. Yeah, he put a different motor on it. And he says it makes a funny noise, but it's fine. I want to trust him. Oh, we didn't even plug the machine in. It's going to be hard to sew. Yeah, I have. Does it have a plug in? We'll be right with you, folks. He plugged the kit. Do we have another extension? Oh my god. Oh, he, uh, here. I can say this kind of private. Oh, uh, what is this going to? Here. The we'll one. Use this. And then this will reap over there. Oh, okay. Woo Guys, we thought we had it. There we go. All right. When things happen live, this is what happens. <laughs> Crystal, I make some things at home sometimes.
You believe him? I don't believe him when this is all over his head. Is that Anderson messing with our machines? Yes. Sounds like it has a can in it. He said it's fine. He said it's oh, that is a different motor. Yeah. And because before, mm -hmm. it was hard to turn the flywheel by hand. Yeah. yeah. Is that just that a is that just a clutch motor? No. No. No, it's a servo motor. All right. We got it's just different. We got a new motor, guys. All righty. Here we go. Here we go. This it kind of bunches up the fur as we go along, which I yesterday when I was doing this, I just unbunched it. Every once in a while, and it seems to be okay. It's moody. Yeah, Our chaps are moody. I really love that sound. It's a weird sound. It sounds like we're in an amusement park. It does. We are the, the, are we the amusement? We are the amusement, yes. It's some sort of a servo motor, guys. I don't know, you tell me. Everybody email Anderson at springfieldleather.com and ask him what kind of motor he put on this thing. And then ask him why. Actually, I want one of these on my ego. Uh, yeah, Christian, and whenever we're done sewing this, I'll, I'll make Justin finagle something. They want to see the motor. <laughs> I did do that little clutch at the end of last year, maybe like November, December, Crystal. I did like a little, um, brogue punched women's clutch that was cute. I think there's a free pattern that you can download off of that. The problem is, is that having to do the videos and also coordinate the videos kind of makes me lose my mind a little bit. So I prefer to coordinate the videos and then just be here to talk to you. <laughs> okay, see what we've got there? Isn't that delightful? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like my bike did when I put a card in the spokes. <laughs> really? That's exactly it. <laughs> that that tickled Denny pretty good there. Got that card spoke <laughs> sound. <laughs> All right, now let's see what we ended up with. Michael, I don't know. That cat bag looks that that looks pretty intense, and I especially don't like the idea of having to sew something three times. That's that's dedication, sir. You're very dedicated. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty woolly. <laughs> woolly yeah, so woolly. this is that's our seam. Yeah. Look at that seam. That looks great. Yeah, I'm gonna have to erase that one gray mark. That's okay. Yeah, so that's awesome. Yeah. Not gonna complain. So you sew it flat this way. Yeah, and then fold it over. Yep, and then you just fold it over. And you don't even have to worry about that stupid tape that you put on it. Nope, that stupid tape is just fine where it is. <laughs> stupid tape. <laughs> All right, now. Hey, Wayne. Now. I need to make that Lego man. That's probably going to be my next video, guys, is we have that Lego pattern, so I need to make that leather Lego man. Oh. Hi, Denny. Welcome to the show. Well, thank you. <laughs> Glad to be here. Okay. Now, I am going to just spread a little contact cement on this. David is attempting to tool left-handed. Just Is it just for funsies, David? Just trying to see, see if you can figure it out.
Have you made a pair of chaps for Mary June? No, I never have. Does she, she ride has, any horses? She has a pair of motorcycle chaps. I could see that. Biker babe. <laughs> Oh, you never met her? No, she's just like this longer than white character in my head right now. Well, one of these days, you got to make her come in during the weekday. I will. Okay. I told her, I said, you need to come in and be in a video. She does need to come in and be in a video. Mary June, if you're watching, you're always invited. We got to hear the stories. Maybe we can just have, like, the low story to the hour. <laughs> Oh, you, no, you guys don't have lows. <laughs> I love that. Getting lost with the lows. <laughs> Denny, we're going to have to make that happen. Oh, golly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now how am I going to do this? I forgot how I did it yesterday. I think I'm going to stitch from here to here. <laughs> and then I'll stitch from here around. Because I've got to make sure I keep that little point where it goes. You guys think this is funny, but it's not. <laughs> There's nothing funny about it. All right, so we're just sewing that inside of the yoke real fast. Yeah, I've got to get this yoke. So we'll just tack it down. Um, guys, who put out who put out the the Lego Man pattern? I forget what company it was. Was it Diesel? Punk. Um, there was somebody that built. It's a. It's a. Like a teddy bear sized Lego man that you build out of leather. So he just has all the little. He's all square and blocky with his little. Bucket head. So they did a pattern on it. So one of these days we'll have to. I've, we've got it. So we need to make it because Legos are my thing. If you newbies out there that don't haven't been around for a while, I collect them. Okay. Create a ball. Thank you. Create a ball. I made the first foo ball. I forgot to change my stitch length. Because I wanted a real long stitch length here, but I'm uh, going to go back to the short one. Luckily, well, I discovered it before I got too far. You guys watch this for a lesson in how to take your stitches out. Uh, <laughs> did Lego say no? Okay, maybe they could watch you if you did it here. I say, <laughs> it wasn't on its face. On just, stage. just guess at it, you guys. Well, they had clearanced it, and I think that's when we got it. Or maybe it was like available for free for a minute, and yeah. so somebody sent it to us. I'm not sure they did. Or maybe like five of you sent it. There was a bunch of you that were like Lego pattern. Perils of sewing with a sewing machine um, is that it's too fast. <laughs> Sounds right. <laughs> Sounds good. We'll go with it. Now, oh, do that's this fun. I haven't seen that. A leather look, a leather Lego briefcase. Lego leather, leather Lego briefcase. Dean, is Toys R Us coming back? No, I don't, I don't see how they could. I thought they were reopening. I feel like I heard that somewhere. Well, I mean, but they did close, the Dean. So are, are you saying that I should be unemployed? Because currently, I don't think there are any. <laughs> or I could work for Lego. Actually, that would be really cool. They still have a website. I feel like they're... Maybe they are. Why, why don't you Google, is Toys R Us reopening? <laughs> See if you get some articles. <laughs> 
iconic voiceover returning to AT's father, clearly opening up inside of me. Mm. Tear. Uh, Crystal asks, does anyone do the raised up molded leather there? I'd love to see a 3D leather heart. Lost. Are you talking about like tooling where you like push it up from the from the back and kind of have like a 3D image? Or are you actually talking about like a molded piece where you have like a jig that you mold? Um, I mean, we've done, I, I don't know, I consider that little um, basket thing that I did a molded leather piece. We haven't done too much with Oh, I guess, well, you did your cell phone case. That was molded. You had a jig that you put it in. Mm -hmm. um, it's really, most of that molded stuff all comes down to the jig that you have. If you're talking about embossed, I don't think there's a gun that did you want embossed. Kevin likes to, when Kevin did his, didn't he do a horse head a while back? where he, he went from the back and kind of made it look puffed up. I don't think it was as extreme as some people get. All you guys are, are gonna see is fur. Scraping the back to get it raised up. Kevin actually, Kevin does quite a bit of that when he does leather. So, Yeah, you can't really see. So, Kevin did this uh, fish a long time ago, and the fish is is oops is raised up off of the leather quite a bit. So I could have maybe I think if you look back, Kevin did a horse head video where he came from the back and he and he pulled it up to give it some texture. Um, he carved a horse head and, and did that. So, I mean, I could probably make him do another one. I like making him do things. One of the last, last toy, like the... The, cr the trading cards, he did the tree. Yeah, he did the tree. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we caught it on camera, but I watched Kevin, Kevin over here with the back of his tree pushing, trying to push the tree up. But the piece was really little and it was hard to hold on to, and I don't think he was... He did, like, he did a tree a couple of years ago. <clears throat> it, Oops. It was fairly embossed. Mm -hmm. and I, uh, went ahead and back I'll bring it in next week. Michael says if the sound of the sewing machine is really getting at us, he'll take it off our hands. Nope. Yeah, let me... We're scheduled out for the next few months, Crystal, but I um, I will ask Kevin maybe what he would like to do next, and maybe we can do something a little bit more detailed. So, Yeah, Tom, I would love if they had a Lego Land in Springs. I would just love if they had an official Lego store. We did, we did get a franchise, like, mini fig and brick store that just opened up literally a few months ago here in town. So we have a place where you can go and gather with your fellow Lego lovers. But we still don't have an official Lego, Lego store. All right, so now you're just sewing the little hair onto that top section. One little section right here. Between the yoke and the inside of the top of the leg. The yoke and hard place. <laughs> the yoke and the hard place. I think our fur probably. Rat -row. Hang on, kids. We have a hairy situation.
here. Christine was saying when she's machine sewing, she, you know, it usually goes along okay, but then when you move to the thicker sections of the, the leather, you can, she has problems with her machine. Uh, what kind of uh, machine do you have? Because, like, the 20 and the 26, they're, like, the reason that they are so popular these days is because they do a really good job of going kind of from that thinner to the thicker leather without much of a hiccup. Like, they can do it. But if you're working with, like, a flatbed kind of 318 model machine, you know, like, you can sew your wallet interiors really well and everything's coming out real good, and then you go to sew the wallet together, and that total thickness of some of the sections, a lot of machines are just like, man, I don't want to do that. And they'll either start skipping stitches or um, sometimes they just... Um, they really don't love to do that. So kind of depending on the model of machine that you have. What happened? I have my scissors. Oh, that'll do it. Yeah, Legos are getting expensive. But that doesn't stop me from having 800 sets. Sometimes you just got to buy two sets. You you buy one to not open, and then you buy one to build. That down, now I'm going to trim this. Thanks, Justin. Can people see what I'm doing here? Mm -hmm. I'm going to trim this one little bit here off. <laughs> uh, gotcha, Dean. Ooh, I can't wait to see it standing. They're working on their first cabochon inlay project. Oh, all right. That's cool. I don't know yet. Just first cabochon inlay. Oh. Yeah, Denny, maybe we should just do a full hour on using a head knife. <laughs> we could do that. We, we could, could do that. We could do that. I think you did. We could just do just strictly using it, stropping it, maybe even sharpening it. It's probably, we could probably take up some time talking about head knives. I think, I think Different that styles. might be a good video. Okay. Crystal, we will put it on the schedule. Okay. Now I'm going to use a little bit of Rainia. Thank you guys for your suggestions. And I'm not going to worry too much about getting a complete coat of this cement on here, but I want to have enough where I can cement down this outside edge for sure. And we are using the Rainia... Um, Aqualum contact cement. Because Denny is, he's gluing on the finish side of this leather. Yeah, and I'm i am also going to do it wet on, I'm going to leave it wet on one side. I'm You're not, only going to apply it to one side, right? Right. I'm not going to cement both sides. I but think you need a bigger spatula. You need like a shower cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A shower um, squeegee. Bob. <laughs> happy little glue. Yeah, happy little cement. Oh, uh, Michael, we did do we did do French. Denny's done well, especially with uh, his chaps. He did angled. We've done when he did the rodeo chaps. You have multiple layers that he cuts at once. So check out the other, um, both the rodeo and then did we French the other shotgun? Uh, or did we just do the rodeo? 
I thought you did a single. Yeah, we the ones that we've Green done a lot ones, of French. Yeah, Green ones, yeah. We we French those. Yeah. I got. Oh. I just need a place to set it down. A fringe tassel and wire wrapping. Oh. Make Chris do a video. <laughs> Now, I didn't put a complete coat of cement on this. I just got the edges good. So. Everybody say hi to Rusty. He's watching Denny pet some fur through the window. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go, folks. And we're sewing this upside down, too, obviously. Yeah, I was real concerned about stitching this part. But it's it turned out pretty well on the first pair on there. If you ever if you ever get tired of holding on those buckets of Lego, sir, I would be you know, you could always just send them here. I'll take buckets. They also want to, uh, maybe a section about, um, <laughs> um, a French skiving or the Japanese skiving knives. Yeah, I don't use one of them very much, but I, I'll polish up on it and see what I can do. Michael says, just put a rubber glove on. Just, just smush it around like you're in kindergarten. <laughs> <coughs> uh, Michael, you have to go to the live section. So YouTube divided up all the videos and anything that's live, you have to click on the live and then you'll see all of the videos that we've done. Okay, I was that up. Yeah. They, they changed the way they use their video. Christian, are you are you being funny or is that an actual thing? Because I haven't heard of it, and it kind of sounds like you're being funny. <laughs> he asked if we'd heard of uh, you ever used the Rinia Collie de Cologne. William, William um, offered to be a novice that shows us how to not use a hand knife. <laughs> Most people are just afraid of it, you know, just because it's sharp and round. Looks and round. There's and much blade just hanging out. This is this is my fear when I use a head knife is I'm always like this pushing, and I'm afraid I'm going to get it with the top of my face. <laughs> Like, I'm just going to go down. Cut, you just cut the leather <laughs> in your face. Legitimately, that's my concern. Yeah. I am not joking. Okay, we'll look that up. I I don't know. We do have several Rinia products, but is it's, it the little squeeze tube? No, it's the, it's this. It looks like it's twice the size of the box. Or twice the box. Oh, well, then they didn't count. Oh, they All right. I don't think so. I've got it stitched and I'm just going to trim this off. I'm just using a straight knife, very sharp straight knife. You can use an okay. exacto knife or whatever you can use that's sharp. Thanks, man. There you go. That's and, pretty good. And if you cut from the leather side of this hair, it seems to turn out a little better. It still cuts a lot of the hair, but it doesn't cut as much as if you're cutting from the top side of this. Um, hey, Michael, if you ever need instructions, Lego has all of their instructions online. So if you know the number to the the set that you have, you can go and they're all free. They're all there for, for 
you to just download or you can follow along. I think it's online. So you never have to worry about losing your instructions because they're all digitized. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I get real excited when I'm doing stuff like and knock stuff over. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to step outside and shake the loose hair off. You shake it. Uh, this, you, you go do your thing. Shake it off. Shake it off. <laughs> I know. Listen, guys, I'm not opposed to sending sprinkle leather leather for Legos. I've been here for a long time. Comes with privilege. <laughs> I could make trades. And then you can use all of your little scrap to make pillows. And, and little purse toppers. Key fobs. Or furry key fobs. <laughs> okay. We've got that done. It turned out fairly well, don't you think? I Yeah. Looks good. I mean, like here's the stitch line, but as the hair falls over, you're never going to see it. And if you're really, as, as you said, OCD, uh -huh. you sit there and pick all that hair yeah, out of those. Yeah, sit there with a little, your little awl or your crochet hook. What I need you to do. Yes, sir. I'm going to get all these knives out of your way. Oh, hey. I, don't, I think you're, you're missing done, a welt. You're done selling, right? Yes. Yes. I hope. <laughs> oh, also, what did you discover? Yeah, the, because this stuff has a lot of static electricity in it. So you can... Take, this is just like fabric stuff. Yeah. Fabric. So we have bounce, rapid, touch up, resole, resole, wrinkle release. <laughs> yes, wrinkle release. <laughs> but it also removes static. Okay. But up here at the top. Yeah, nice and smooth. Then you can go over the whole thing, kind of lay the nap down on it. Isn't that pretty? It's lovely. Yeah. Okay. Now I need you to hold them up to yourself. Hold them up. And turn around to me. Uh, uh, uh let's do this. Okay, let's do. Okay. You can always do it just like I had it. Well, there you go. How much for the yak scraps? Oh, actually. Um, Ralph, shoot me an email and I'll see how much we have. I'll kind of lay it out and I'll, I can show you the pieces and then I'll shoot you a price. A fur toilet seat cover. We've done leather ones. <laughs> fur line caskets. <laughs> Thanks, William. Crystal, yeah, that would be fun. Denny had a good time doing his the steering wheel cover. And I think my father in law still has it in his truck. I would hope he still has it in his yeah. truck. Forgot about that. Okay, now let's lace these critters. <laughs> Everybody's going to start trying to find buckets of Legos to send me. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Don't tell Kevin. I'm just going to kind of... You can lace these any way you want. I've got six holes in here on the top. And that they're on the... The holes are marked on the, the pattern pack. But on this belt part, you can you can make however many holes you need. You might need to make the belt longer depending on 
who you're making them for. This is just right. Well, once again, this is just the like a slightly modified shotgun chat pattern. Yeah. And really not even that modified. You're just... Yeah. The only, uh, yeah. In, instead of like leaving room for fringe, you're just kind of leaving a little bit extra to sew the hair onto. Right. It's it's about the same amount as fringe. Yeah. Actually. Okay. You could leave exactly the same amount. And it would be want. fine. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Michael. Don't tell me that. The Star Wars ones? <laughs> That's, we have some Star Wars, but that is just a whole, they're, and they're so expensive. And the, I mean, the ships are really cool. We do have the Millennium Falcon. Like, we, we do have the newer Millennium Falcon that's, that's pretty good size. And we do have, I mean, several of the sets. We just don't have as many of the large sets. I want to get the, the set they did of all the, like, heads. Yeah, we have all, I think, except for the new ones. Now, like 60, 60, 70 bucks a set. They're pretty cool. Did you buy them, Darzal? Did, did you buy them? Oh, Legos. Oh, that's unfortunate. Not even good prices. Chris and I like to say that our Lego collection is our retirement fund if we ever get desperate enough to use it. Because they, they, they just go up in value. Because they discontinue the sets. They only sell them for a certain amount of time. And then they're collector's items at this point, even if they're, even if they're opened. Um, like, I missed out, or I just, I wasn't collecting Legos when, like, the Falling Water set came out, and so I bought it on eBay, and I think I spent like $300 on a, probably like a $90 set. <laughs> but I have it. Now you're collecting. And I did that with the Guggenheim also. Yeah. I wish VHSs would be like that. <laughs> I got a head start, if that's the case. Uh, just Liz at Springfield Leather. Oh, look. Crystal knows. <laughs> Thanks. That got one side blue. I mean, you can buy pieces. It'd be really cool if they could somehow, like, you could generate, if you could send them an image and they could generate a Lego set. Um, no, but there are programs that will help you design. So there are programs that you can, like, you know, I don't know if you have to buy or you can just download them that have all of the Lego parts. And then if you have your idea, like, you can build it and you'd be like, okay, I need to buy these things. Um, there are some people that do custom Lego sets and so they'll buy all the pieces from Lego and then they'll put a set together. Yeah, so if you can buy those custom Lego ones. Mm-hmm. One leg down. That'll make a movie called One Leg Down. <laughs> or write a song about it or something. <coughs> you know, there's a lot of stuff in the world. I bet there's someone somewhere out there that's done something. Oh, one leg down. <laughs> <sighs> nice. I know sometimes, now that that little Lego store is opened, I'm just like, hmm, I wonder if I should get a second job there. Like, do they need some part-time weekend help? Just to get a discount on your Legos? 
<laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Chris always, he's just like, you really should start building Legos and just have a YouTube channel where you build Legos because then you could be one of those people that Lego sends their, like, their sets to, to advertise. Oh, the guy on Twitch that does it, and that's how he gets his Legos. Yeah. <laughs> well, mm. guys, let me do that. We're trying to let you do your thing. <laughs> I appreciate that. It's just not working. Did I miss any cutting of the hair on? Um. Yeah, he did trim it up. So, Dean, just a couple minutes ago, Denny, after he got the the full leg sewn on, then he trimmed up the excess. And I think you just had a couple inches around there of excess fur. So and you left it a little bit long so that you could trim. So everything matches right up with the leather that's underneath. Yeah, that's the key on most of the stuff, especially experimental stuff. You want, you want to leave plenty of material because you never know when you say, whoops, I wish I would have done that different. Hey, Jim. Um, they did a Central Perk one time. So the whole friend set, the, the coffee shop of Central Perk, they'd made it out of Legos. And it was touring, I think. I think it was in Vegas for a little while. Oh, yeah, there's a ton of really cool, like, Disneyland has pretty, like, Disneyland and Disney World have Lego stores with pretty awesome. Like, at Disney World, they have a Loch Ness Monster in the lake. Yeah, so it's a it's a Lego like he got me a Loch, Ness Loch Ness monster. I'm that's what I'm gonna call it, some sort of like a dragon in the lake that's made out of Legos. Which yes. is pretty cool. And they've got like uh Beauty and the Beast and a whole bunch of Star Wars characters and the Frozen characters. Oh, I think it was Disneyland they had um Aladdin like flying on a carpet with um, the genie hanging in the ceiling. So that was kind of fun. I do have a picture. Oh, yeah, we showed it. He, we might have been talking through it, but it was on camera and Denny cut the fur off. Yeah. It's no big deal because she was a very sharp knife. Well, Crystal, email us, and I'll look at it when we're off here. Or there's that. Uh, you want to put the Discord link in? Can you do that in YouTube? Are we laced up? We are laced and sprayed. We are distatic. Turn it over and distatic the underside. <laughs> oh, sorry. Did I just static you? No. Maybe a little, but that's okay. All right. Yes, Michael, I did see it, but I was setting up for live shopping. Um, and, and so I will I will look at it when we're done here. I'm, I'm going to catch up on some emails. Time for you. Put them on. Damp. <laughs>
Oh no. My zipper's down here. <laughs> then you make a good pair of chaps. <laughs> gotta finagle this. Can I help? I think I got it. I think I got it. Let's see what the back looks like. Yeah, it looks like they're supposed to. Yeah. We just <laughs> we like pretend like I have friend John. What do you think, Luz? You're kind of in the shot there. Well, guys, this is what we got. Yeah, look, they even cover my boots. Okay. I promise I won't burn you, but I need to burn something here. Okay. Okay. Close. No, turn. Oh, this way. There you go. Oh, we had one thread. There we go. Got to get that thread. Yeah. So anyways, guys, make yourself some woolies. Good. They smell nice and fresh. Experimental pair. <laughs> they aren't bad. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's going to make some woolies now. And then we can, we should, we could, we could have like the woolly group picture. <laughs> the woolly bullies. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody could submit it and we'll Photoshop them all together. Of the SLC woolies. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm not used to leather smelling like laundry. So that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> they had some more that said odor free. Like, nah, yeah. We not quite do that. Yeah. We want linen fresh. Oh, outdoor fresh. We're outdoor fresh, guys. You know, and the only reason I thought of that, Jim thought hairspray. Oh. And I thought that might oh. not That's kind of sticky. Spare. And then I was outside shaking the leg off, and some lady was walking by, and I was trying to smooth that down. She uh -huh. Fabric softener. She said, get some fabric softener sheets. Yeah. I thought, cool. So I went to Walmart, and I was going to get the sheets, and then I saw that. So. You're like, that's easier. Yeah. We just spray it on. It smells much better. <laughs> Larry said, now I just need a woolly vest. <gasps> that's what you could do with the panels. You could make a vest. Yeah. But I'm going to maybe sell them to yeah, whoever. Denny's telling you guys to stop giving ideas out. <laughs> <laughs> then he says, listen, y'all. All righty. Well, I'll wear these for a few hours today because that's always fun for me. Why do you make it grow across crotch? This? To hold them up. The the buckle, you mean? Why is it on one side? Oh, instead of the middle? Is that what you're talking about, Crystal? And why not higher up to be by the belt? My pants are, like, kind of high-waisted, but... Shafts are built to go right below the belt line. Okay. Riding shafts. Mm -hmm. Show shafts are different. These are woolly. <laughs> <laughs> These are just our whole other thing. Yeah. Yeah, because you don't want them at the belt line because then you're going to have too many yeah. things. Yeah, because you already got a belt on. Then right. you have another belt on. Yeah. So they usually sit. And if I had probably regular pants, these are high-waisted pants. So if I had regular pants on, they would probably sit right at the top of this. Yeah. A little bit lower. But... Can I sit down in them? <laughs> Not really. Then he said they'll... they'll... <laughs> now that looks sharp right there. Now I look like a Wookiee. What about it? <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Well, this is Wooly Chaps. Next week, what do we got, Justin? It was... The Owl Purse? <gasps> yeah. Okay, so everybody remember... The Owl Bag. It's the Owl Bag. So the owl bag that we started a few weeks ago with um, the stone inlays, we will be finishing that up. Um, we have, I think we have two videos scheduled for that. Um, we have new leather uh, purse yokes. So 
Same idea here, like a topper, but they have handles. So we got some dies made. Um, I've been wanting to do it here for a couple of years, but when we came back from Dallas this year, I was like, guys, we're going to have some dies made. So we're, we're, we um, will be releasing leather yokes for a purse topper that you can either use with hair on, with a leather bottom, with... Um, you could even do a woolly. I think that would be pretty cool. Or fabric, however you want to use the their tooling yoke. So they'll be released in Hermit Oak Veg Tan in pairs. And we'll have two different sizes. Um, Denny already has, I think, the large, no, the small one. You, yeah. you made a bag with the small one. And then we're doing the owl bag with the large pair of the, the yokes. It's going to have fringe. It's going to be blue and purple and fabric lined and all sorts of fun things with a tooled strap. And uh, we're going all out with it. So join us next week. We'll have at least two videos, if maybe not a little bit more, on the owl bag, finishing that up. So join us next week for that. Um, and then I think the week after that, I'm going to be in Sheridan. Yeah. So if anybody is going to Sheridan, come out and meet me. I'd love to meet you guys in person. I know a couple of you will be there. So yeah, I'd have to wear them on the plane because I don't know if, I don't think we're going to be like taking a check bag. <laughs> you wear them around your neck <laughs> just sling them on they'll be my carry on that would be fun it might be cold I'll look at the weather who knows maybe I'll show up in my woolies they've had a lot of weather up there this year half goat Liz I like it <laughs> alrighty guys um, random and rare day off means I actually get to catch a live stream well welcome Mo hey Mocha Maid alrighty you guys have a wonderful weekend. Glad you could catch us, Moco, but hopefully maybe you didn't just get here because we're leaving. So no no after party today. I've got orders to fill and emails to answer, and Tony is on the road, so I'm doing all of it by myself. So we'll see you guys next week, and have a good weekend. Bye.